so you mentioned the the two negative quarters of GDP growth last year, and you know some people say you know they define a recession like that. It's not the definition officially of a recession, so we haven't had one yet. But that's the big that's the big topic of discussion: is are we or aren't we, and if we do, how long will it last, and how bad, severe will it be? And and that seems to be the the place we've been for about a year and a half now in ter- in trying to determine that. And then I read this, that the Atlanta Fed now predicting that quarter three GDP this year could be as high as 5.8 percent. What do you make of that? And where are you on the are we or aren't we and how long could it last? Right, right. So one of the reasons why we're not in recession yet is because we have had uh, so much stimulus injected into our economy from Mm a year and a half ago. And that excess savings is still providing a lot of impetus for spending. I was just talking to one of the guys who's not here. He's next door yeah, about uh, the Beretta factory in northern Italy. Yeah. Uh, we were one of the bazillion people traveling this summer. So we've had this pent-up demand for travel. Remember 2021, it was all about goods. Everything was, you know, you're going on your Amazon app and, and purchasing goods. There's been this shift toward this massive demand for services. Uh, TSA throughput numbers are above 2019 levels. So just measuring the number of people coming through uh, security. We went to Italy in May with my family. We thought we were smart and we beat the the rush. And the, No, we didn't. <laughs> uh, so there's still this pent-up demand for services, leisure, hospitality, the travel, particularly one of the service sectors. Uh, that's starting to wane, but it hasn't slowing down enough to even show up in the broader economy. But once that does, once that spending splurge finishes, I think there's a there's a chance, a likelihood that we get a, a short and shallow recession, perhaps by the beginning of next year, maybe even as early as uh, the end of this year. What's your best thought on what short is as far as duration? Right. Definitions matter, right? What's yeah. short? Well, post World War II, recessions average about ten months. We think we'll be below average, okay. so less than less than ten months. Okay. Uh, and part of that is because you know you think about banking. You know, I started my career in two thousand four, coming out of graduate school. My first job, my first project, no kidding, on the trading floor for Bank of America. They say, okay, here's the the young kid that, uh, you know, what can we use him for? We'll just get our random projects. Here's the project for you. Can you do, can you just do some research on this acronym CDO, collateralized debt obligations, and CLOs, collateralized loan obligations? So if you were guys were around in that time, uh, you know what those acronyms are. But uh, if you don't know, count your blessings. <laughs> uh, we don't have that kind of an environment today. So the 04, 05, period, uh, a lot more uh, risky than where we are, say, you know, coming out 2021, 22, 23, here we are today.